Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create unlimited AI images using a very, very simple website. Now this website can enable you to create, like I said, unlimited number of images and it can be as creative as you want and as detailed as you want. It is going to give you the images, no matter how complex is your description. It is doing a very, very fantastic job. And the best part of this is it incorporates the use of Flux 1.1, okay? You know, Flux 1.1 is a very, very good image generator and you can hardly find it free in most of uh, the AI image generators that we have around. But in this particular website, you're going to find it completely free of charge. Now to start with, let me introduce you to the platform that we're going to use today. I like it and I make a lot of videos about it because it's free. This platform is none other than Piclumen. Okay, so you can access Piclumen by coming to your browser and just type in piclumen.com just like so and you can hit on enter you brought in over here. Now you can go ahead and generate for free. Um, you can log in. Of course, you have to log in with either your Gmail or Apple or email and password. You can sign up if you are interested. Now, once you sign up, this is where we brought in. Okay, you can see a number of images that were generated by others. And when you hover over any of them, you're going to see the prompt that generated those images, including characters. Okay, very easily you can see them and you can use this uh, for inspiration to create your own your own images from the prompt that you see over here. Okay, there are beautiful ones that once you click, you can be able to regenerate this uh, to your own liking. Okay, so to start, you can come to create over here. And from here, you can see the prompt area. It looks kind of very simple. And then over here, you can add a reference image. If you have a reference image that you want the image generator to make reference to, to create something similar or close to that, you can always upload your image from here and then you can select the model that you're going to use for this we're going to use Flux.1 okay Chanel so we're going to select this and this is going to be our model so it's going to now be uh, what kind of prompt do you have on what you want to generate so let's start with something simple um let's say I want futuristic city skyline at sunset so let's just hit on enter um, let's come over here and click on generate and you can see it over here. This is very, very beautiful. You can see how the texture, the image is generated. Very, very nice. You can copy, you can download and you can see the, the prompt that generated it. Okay. You can uh, add this to your collections if you have a given collections and you can, of course, share on Pinterest or you can copy and share it somewhere. Okay. Let's try to generate another one. We just pressed in minimalist. A workspace with coffee cup. I want to generate the image of a minimalist workspace with a coffee cup. And then over here, you can specify the aspect ratio. However, you want the sizing, you can have it. Uh, let's go with 16 by 9, which is horizontal. And you can just go ahead and click on generate. Wow, this is very, very nice. You can see the clarity. It's a workspace with a cup of coffee. And we can see uh, this simple thing. Okay, it's a system and with a flower. This looks amazing and fantastic of course you can download as well and then you can post to the community if you want to add it to the community all right so let's generate another simple one a cute cat wearing a wizard hat and then you can add reference image if you want again and then you can specify the number of images the image count we can go to two but i like to keep it at one to minimize the number uh, that i'm going to use okay so we can just go ahead and say generate a cute cat wearing a wizard hat and then we can click on generate. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, very, very nice and fantastic. You can see the cat. It looks very, very professional, very high, good quality. Look at the hair around and look at the eye. Very, very clear. And you can download this and use for your content creation very easily and very fantastically. Okay, so you can see, let's double click on this to see the image. You can see the clarity. Very, very nice and interesting okay so you can just go ahead and attempt on your own to see how many images you can generate using flux now uh, for free and unlimited you can just keep trying and keep generating content all right let's create one more but make it a little bit detailed a dense and hunt enchanted forest at twilight with giant glowing mushrooms of different colors blue pink and green and so much, so much of the description. This is a bit more detailed. Let's see whether it's going to capture that or not. 
Fantastic. This is wonderful. This is really, really wonderful. So it's up to you. You can just go ahead and try it on your own and see what you can generate on your own and what creativity you can bring into this to your image creations. So this concludes this simple tutorial about the use of Piclumen to generate a limited number of images. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.